And now our last example where we give a gradient field and ask what we can say about f is a three-dimensional one. And so, of course, the first thing we can say is that f must be from r3 to r. Real valued, but because this is dimension 3, we're coming from r3. Now, if we look at this picture, we can't say very much. So what I tried to do was to rotate that picture a little bit so that we could see some kind of pattern. And if we look at this, this is 0, 0, 0. In the middle of the, the cube is 0, 0, 0. And we can see that the function is growing this way, but it's also, it's growing towards this. So it's, we, we can't say a lot. We can maybe have a saddle point or something in here, but we can see better what's happening a little bit. And we can see that there doesn't appear to be any whirly twirly. So it probably is the gradient field of some function. It is in fact the gradient field of the function x squared plus 0.5 y squared times z squared. Of course, the graph of this function would actually be in four dimensions, so we can't do it. So then we tried to find other representations. And I put up the contour plot. And here is another depiction of the gradient field. And you can kind of see is again normal to the contour plot. So of course, the higher the degree, the less we can look at them and tell what's happening. So we need mathematic apparatus to do this. So that's what we're going to do. In case you're interested, here is another spin on the gradient field. You have to move very slowly. And finally, here are the mathematical commands I use to get those plots. That's it.